presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, talez -vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate you growling question. problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done the gold Reports and all the softwares and all your books and read a generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Ignore the opinions of others. Don't take anything personally. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a, that's a wild one. That's a wild card, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 255, NASDAQ up 187, SP's up 47. Gold, gold contract down $5.80, trading at 18, 18, 1984 an ounce. Silver up 8 cents, $23.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 26 cents, trading at $72.93 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note. Down four ticks, trading 114.16, the 30 year off five at 129.25, and King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 244 ticks at 102.674, the Euro is at 108, the Yen is at 132, and the British Pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is really cool where we're at here, man. Wow, where do you see this? So, what we have, I'm going to bring the E-minis up again. We just did that update. So, at this point, yeah, you're at, eight, you're at eight minutes into this 10 minute bar. So, check out what we have here. Okay. So, your benchmark here for, the, for two minutes, okay, is 4049. And what we did, is this, is that the, your, first, your first bar, you, you got the spike. The second bar, you got even a heavier spike. And you get some big volume on it. The, the, when, when you are going to basically start backing down again, um, what you have here, folks, is that if we close under that benchmark of 4049.00, that would be saying that you got a failure and... What would end up happening then is that this type of volume, this is not a day, day trade, okay? It'll go right down to the other side of it. So we'll see where this happens. It, it's really, it's, it's, it's close. The reason it's close is this, is that most of the time when you get a spike like this, right? The, the, what, the, what the market's looking for is, okay, how many more buyers do we have up here? And you can see we don't have a lot, a lot of more buyers up here. That's what ended up happening. Spiked it once, spiked it again. And, you know, we're up 50. I mean, how much they want, I guess. But, but I'm just kind of trying to explain to you on an intraday basis what normally shakes out here. We go over to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. The NQs have the same type of setup. And we take a look at the NQs and what you have here. Did the same deal with the same type of volume. But you can see there's not much movement after the first two bars. And so the NQ has a lower benchmark. That benchmark is 937. We're 10 points over that right now. I suspect what we're going to see first is this. You're going to have a fight here. If we get under those benchmarks, right, the next 5, 10 minutes, bottom line is that you're going to have more sellers than your buyers coming into the close here. That's how this shakes out because, see, what should have happened, if, well, if we stay up here, it's 10 minute buy, they'll run into the close. Now, because if we go to the the day, let's go to the dailies now. If you go to the dailies, this is another contraction, a monster contraction too. You're going into the, uh, in the SPY, this thing was trying to hit the 402. We hit 400.77. And you can see the contraction. The contraction is pretty dramatic, man. I mean, you know, yesterday we did, uh, 
62 million or at 50 right now, you're going into 111 million. You know, so that's a big number. We go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the Qs. Qs are set up the same type of way, man. Uh, you know, the, the Qs want to get that uh, 313 again. 313.68. We made it to 312.54. The contraction's there. And once again, though, the, I suspect the Qs are going to get it. You know, it looks to me the Qs, Qs want it. They're going to get it. So the real question is, is they, did they get it today? Which they could very easily because we hit 312.54, you know, already. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold contract? You're pulling back with light volume. Um, this is building costs for higher price, man. You know, you, you only get 138,000 contracts on the pullback. Let me show you this. You got high volume today, you know, but you're rolling. Yeah, well, you haven't got below lows either. You haven't got below lows. You have high volume. You know, this is, this is staying at highs. The longer this stays at highs, the higher the probability that you're going to bust through. And we go into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. We have with the dollar is this. The dollar has rejected lower price again, just barely, but rejected lower price. Um, and that's not a lot of price movement out here. You know, the dollar hit a high today of 102.786. You know, you're 100 points off it. You know, not much action. My take is this dollar is going to try to get up to the 106 to 107 area once again. And then we go into the bond market. We take a look at the bond market out here. The note and bond market. We take a look at the note, note market first. You're going to see notes and bonds want higher price, folks. Higher price, lower yield coming at us. If we take a look at this, what you're going to see, we're backing down. There's no sellers in the market. You know, you get, you get 1.2 million contracts inside of the 10-year. That's going into 1.8. That's going into 2.8. That's going into 4.35. You're talking about some monster numbers out there. Some of the higher volume equities out here today inside the market. This is going to be a very low volume market. You got uh, Intel up $2.40. Tesla's up $3. You have uh, Advanced Micro up a buck and a half. Micron Technologies up $4.80. Uh, NVIDIA's up $5.76. You have, uh, where else? Let's go. Inside the NDX100, the strength versus the weakness. Lululemon, oh, that's the one I was looking for. That's up to 13%. Uh, Rivian's up 11%. Taken away from it, Ross Stores is down eight tenths of a percent. Not, not, hardly nothing inside the NDX 100 on the way down. JD is down seven tenths of one percent. Regeneron five tenths. Um, Micron Tech is up eight uh, percent. You get some movers out here. In spades, we have some movers, but you're going up to the top. Uh, you have a volume that continually contracts. So the, you know the bottom line is that, uh, and the Andy coming into window dressing. That's what we have happening here. This is today. Yeah, today's an important day. You know, we'll see if we if we contract again and you stay at these prices, you can picture that they're going to go after the swing points, the swing of highs, and the contraction will be there. And this will go into window dressing, okay, which brings us into Monday and Tuesday next week, and that's where you'll get the failure. Dow Industrials right now, 272. Nasdaq's up 198. S&Ps are up 50. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 320. Uh, Nasdaq's up 213. S&Ps are up uh, 56. We go into the Dow Industrials and we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials out here. Point-wise, let's see what we have. There's only a couple stocks that are in the negative, if any. Yeah. So the only ones you have in the negative inside the Dow Industrials, you have United Health putting negative 42 points and you have Merck putting negative three. Uh, the move is out here. Uh, Strength-wise, you have... Microsoft uh, positive, uh, putting 35 positive points. Uh, Salesforce 32, American Express 29, Travelers 24. Let's go to Lululemon. Lululemon come out with numbers last night. Uh, bottom line is that uh, this is, you took off like a rocket ship, man. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty intense what it actually did. So it hit 370.25. And, you know, when this had gapped down, <laughs> the bottom of that gap was 368. You know, so pretty wide move. Let me look at this on a weekly, yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, that's saying that, you know, that the 251 is probably the low. You know, because it has volume, and it needed volume, by the way, too. Because what you had out here is that when, it looks like it would have been the last time they come out with numbers. December? Yeah, probably. Uh, that came down with volume. You can see the vicious volume it came down with 16.9 million on a weekly, and we're already done 17.7 on the way up. So this this uh, does want higher price. So if we take a look at this, revenue-wise, what they come in with is that they come in with uh, 2.8 billion on 90 days, and they brought look at the, oh, look what they brought to the bottom line. Holy cow! They brought four dollars and forty cents to the bottom line. That's a big number. When they, when for the whole year they only did ten dollars and seven cents to the bottom line. This quarter alone, they brought four forty. Yeah. So the real question is, what else is in there? It, you know, when you see something, let me just look at something for a second. No, I guess, I guess, no. The, I see the way this works. The, this must be their Christmas quarter or something, because you can see every year we went back five years. Every year, that's kind of how it plays out. The um, let's go into look at Microsoft, as Microsoft has been and is the strongest stock inside the NDX 100. Oh, look at this, see, this is cool, man. You know, when I say this is cool, I'm talking about on the short side, not going short um, Microsoft, but the NDX. Look at Microsoft, how Microsoft's coming up. So pitch this first. Microsoft has a high volume high that does want to get spiked first. That number is 283.33, okay? Now, 
We're coming up to that number with 15 million shares versus 69 million. Now, you got to let it hit it because a test is a test when it gets to that high, folks, okay? But you can see this is a contraction. And then what Microsoft does have, and this is what, what is always cool, it came down after it made its high, high volume high. Then it came off that high with 43 million. So what you'd love to see, what I like to see is this. I like to see the test lower than the downdraft, meaning how it come off that high the last time. Because if that's what you get, your probability gets much bigger that you'll, you'll get at least where that high volume low was, which is 269. We go look at uh, Amazon because Amazon's held up well and has been trading sideways, basically. Still sideways, but the look at the if contractions on Amazon. Also, there's no doubt about that. This this is con just contracting on the way up. So when you, when we talk window dressing, folks, what ends up happening is this: is that there's money that comes in the marketplace, right? And the bottom line is that it, it comes. Let's picture payrolls. They get taken out of payrolls. You know, it's an automatic type of thing. Goes into the market. Goes into the broker dealer. Goes into the money manager. Well. They don't get paid on cash. They have to put that to work. And that's why it is a biased, a buying biased pot, a bull, bull bias, let's put it that way, um, at the end of the month and the beginning of the month. Because as money starts coming in, you know, the bottom line, the, the folks in the financial business, they want to get paid on that money and they put it to work. And that's where you see extra buyer. Now, this is what's really cool. As you're seeing this, if you're going up, and in window dressing and your volume contracting that dramatically, that is a heads up also because of the fact that the matter is it should be a heavier volume just fundamentally because you have this whole bucket over here that is going to be in buying period, whether they're, you know, laddering, no matter what they're doing, averaging down, averaging up, whatever, you know, the bottom line is that you get the gist of it, okay? If in fact, you had normal buyers, plus you had people that just put, you know, money every every, every month, okay? And, you know, listen, when you do something like that over the course of, uh, you know, years, you know, the bottom line is you make, you'll make money, you know? In, in my, my case, I, I would tell people you just buy the SPY. That's it. You buy the SPY, you know, you hold, I mean, you're 30 years old, 40 years old, whatever it is, you buy the SPY, you hold it, you just keep putting money in the SPY and, you know, Depending when you're going to retire, just make sure that, you know, you, you realistically, I would, I would say to someone, okay, give yourself a good uh, seven to ten years before that. Because what does happen with markets is that uh, these cycles are big, you know, so you don't want to be caught in a down cycle when you're going to start taking bread out of it. But you get the gist of it. The GDX, let's take a look at the GDX inside the gold market out here. So we have is, and the GDX is this. This is dying on the vine. You know, made, made another great run, though, man. There's no doubt. I mean, you're coming into this February uh, 3rd, February 3rd, February 3rd, 2nd and 3rd, folks, okay? It's going to be, you know, we're not going to get through it. Well, if we get through it, it's going to be a miracle because, you know, yesterday you had light volume in the GDX. You had 24 million, and you're coming into 39, and today we only have 11, Okay. So that's telling me that, okay, we're going to go back down again. Now, I don't see a big back down, though. The back down that I see is where we were on March 17th. And that's nothing, you know. And what may be happening here is that you're actually setting up. This, this could be the A point. We pull back to that level. That would be the B point. Uh, you're actually setting up an ABC structure up in order to blow that high away. The last high that we had out here was on the 25th of uh, January, I think. Yeah, it was 25th of January. That's how, that's how this baby's setting up right now. And if we go into the silver market, let's go take a look at silver. So silver right now, that's trading sideways to higher with 37,000 contracts. That still has a, a high volume spike. I, I expect this will get spiked again at uh, 2370. Because we have that, that that has volume there. That it you can see quite clearly the, the same type of deal though. This February second deal is it second? It's the third in the silver market. That's when silver went from 2186, 2386 to 2252. 
um, that is going to be not a tough place to get through. Most of the time, folks, when you have big downdrafts like that, what you do is you go up to the downdraft, you, you contract on volume, you back down again, you go up again, can't handle it again, you back down, and then you go up and you blow right through it. Now, most of the time, it's the third time. And if you can see the volume expanding as you're getting up, then you really get action, man, because what it's done is it has frustrated everyone twice already and then, then decides to go. Dow, Dow's up 307, Nasdaq's up 211, S&P's up 54. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow and Dush is up 313. Nasdaq's up 214. S&P's up 55. Let's go take a look at this. SH. I got to see what this is. S. So... This is a Schwab bond fund, folks, right? Okay, so this is a corporate five slash 10 year bond ETF. The fund seeks to track the total return of an index that measures the performance. Okay, interesting. So listen to this, folks, okay? This is interesting. This fund right here, right? Okay, so assets in the, this fund swelled to 2.33 billion on Monday from 356 million from Friday. The fund, <laughs> this is intense. Now this, this, this trade here, folks, if you bought this trade, this trade is also saying, let, let's see what happens. Such a large trade is unusual, uh, is yeah, unusually either the hallmark of a tax-friendly trade known as, as the high, known 
as a heartbeat in which cash outflows are expected in the coming days are moves by a large model portfolio. Such a portfolio shift was suspected earlier this month when roughly $4 billion was proof was pulled from BlackRock's iShare um, ESGU. ESGU, okay, ESGU. Anyway, this is, this is pretty intense, man. Um, imagine $2 billion going in the fund in one day. So the, the goal here in this fund, by the way, what this means, the, these, the $2 billion, these people are wagering that rates will also go down. That's how, that's how this is shaken out. That's a five to 10. And if the rates are going down, this price is gonna be going up. But you talk about uh, bringing in some money quick, huh? And you know, the, what, what, so just so you can get the, um, the differential and the understanding between the bank deposits, money markets, and CDs, right? The, there's another article out here today that, uh, let me say what big bank is thinking that's, uh, one of the big banks out here think that um, that was the first run, that there will actually be a second run on banks. You know, they don't see that the banks are gonna close, but that there's gonna be a run on deposits. The reason being is that there was so much publicity about the fact of what happened with Silicon Valley, Signature Bank, Republican Bank, and all above, that folks are looking at their deposits in banks now, right? And not even, we're not even talking big deposits, we're talking about deposits in general, saying, why am I keeping 50, 100, 200, whatever that is, you know, 5,000 in the bank and getting a 0.45 of 1%, when just as easy, you can, you know, go out there and get 5% for a couple of years, like in a heartbeat, you know? So that will go against banks in general. That, that's, that's how that works also, because once it shifts off into a uh, different vehicle, even inside of the same, like in, in this particular case, inside of Schwab, that still is not in their bank. That, come from, that came from somewhere. Now, what that article was saying, let's go see what this is, ESG, you because this is probably e this was probably this shot fund because four billion let's see. no oh no oh i see this is the esg this is an esg fund that 400 billion was taken out of no four four billion was taken out of so the market was looking for you know there's no way you can tell whether the folks took it out of there and put it somewhere else, okay? You know, they're, they're speculating, okay, what, where that money would be going. But when, what, what does happen is this, is that when you see large withdrawals, uh, well, let's start with large withdrawals first. Everyone's always saying, okay, now where are you gonna put the money? Because the money has to go somewhere. That's what it comes down to. But particularly when you're talking about a big number like, uh, they're talking about right here. You know, that, 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 that one fund uh, inside, that was, that was a Blackstone fund, uh, BlackRock fund rather. Um, you know, the amount of money that came out of there, well, that's gonna, that's gonna go somewhere. You know, find out where it goes. Let's go into the gold, uh, no, the oil market. Take a look at the oil market out here. So oil out here today is down 33 cents. It gave it up. This is, oh, this will be interesting here. Now let's see what this is. So, almost got to the 0.618 retracement. And, yeah, you get a contraction of volume also. You know, not a huge one. But now, now the, the real kicker in the oil market is going to be, um, you know, what happens uh, tomorrow. Because when you, would, you almost got to make it to 0.382, it rejected higher price today, has lighter volume, um, and this baby wants to pull back. Now, this volume at $70.38. So that number there is something you're gonna wanna watch closely um, if in fact it does back down. If it backs down into that number and you see the volume expanding, well then you get out of the way. You see the volume contracting, well then you say, okay, uh, this is game. Let's go to the XLE and see if we can see something inside the XLE out here. Yeah, that's going up with light volume. 
This is not this is not doing too much, no doubt. Micron, let's go to Micron. Micron came out with numbers last night. Micron technology. So the low for the year is 48, the high is 86. Oh, this got volume, man. Now it hasn't taken the highs out yet though. Interesting. 6436. 6442, 6444. Ooh, this is wild, man. If it closes up here, though, it'll blow away these highs. That's how this is set up. Now, why, this is tricky. And what's tricky about this one is this, folks. Now, you're, you're punching into the highs with dramatically higher volume. You know, we have 42 million shares going into 15 million in the last high, which is 46.34. And then the prior high there had 16 million, was 46.44. So it's 46.44, I mean, six, sorry, let me start this again. 64.44 is your benchmark. Well, we went to 64.42, and you had an expansion of volume, and it can't break it. This is one of these, this is a quirk, okay? Meaning that, well, well quirk's the wrong way, but it's really not, it's, it's when you get up to a high like this and you get an expansion of volume that's exponential like we have and you can't take it, can't take it out, it's a problem. So this is going to be really intriguing to see how this trades in the next couple of days. The reason being that the last time that we basically hit this level, we went south from $64 down to $52. The first time we started out at $64 and we went down to $48 and at $48, there's a high volume low. So this is like amazing, man. Let's go take a look at uh, VALE from one of the tigers out here, Valley. Okay, so you're in a consolidation here. And let me just go over to INO for a second. They, these, these folks have a lot of metals, huge amount of metals terminals, trains. Yeah, so I know it's holding up. I know it's still 8, 895 uh, ton. Let's go back to Valley. So that means you're, you're still in a consolidation here in Valley. That's the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. You're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow up 277. NASDAQ's up by 210. S&P's up 53. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 274, NASDAQ up uh, 207, S&P is up uh, 52. And we'll just check these volumes. It's going to be light volume, man. And the real thing here is going to be, can you hold price at all? Uh, right now, yeah, you're 57 million going into 111 in the SPY, and in the Qs we are at 43, and you're still dealing. This would be so cool, man, if it get, gets to this 313.68. Doesn't have to do it today, but you know, it'd be nice if we do it today because you don't have the volume and then fail. Um, 313.68 is the number. You could last. You know, we went up there last week. And then intraday, it couldn't hold it. Intraday, it just took it, brought it south in a second, came back up. This is the second get-go to see if they can get anything going uh, to the upside. So we'll see how this that shakes out. We're going to take a look at the Google. So Google's, yeah, Google rejected the lower price out here today. That's still near the highs. And Apple. So Apple's going after its high again. Now, last high on Apple was uh, 162.16, and you had 75 million shares, and we're doing with 38. These, these numbers got to go up exponentially in order to blow it away. Now, they can. There's no doubt about that. I mean, that's, that's, that's how markets work. There's no doubt about that, that they can. Uh, but thus far, <laughs> uh, it doesn't look to me that you actually have buyers uh, out here that are coming in. Let's go to a Rich in Oregon. Hey, Rich, how you doing, man? Good, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. How you been? Uh, not too bad. Waiting for uh, spring to come out here. Well, it should be there pretty soon. <laughs> well, it's wet. It's cold. Is it? Mm. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm waiting for Al Gore to fly by. I see. Warm it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Heckler Mining, a right? On Heckler Mining. Okay, so let's take a look at it. The low for the year at Heckler is three dollars and forty cents. The high is seven thirty. You're trading at six fourteen. A nice volume yesterday, man. Yep. So yeah, that's what caught my eye. Was yep. So you got Is this thing going to maybe work its way back to seven dollars before giving it up again? Yes, yes. When you see something like this, because this is actually a small ABC up, thirty-two five okay. thirty-two would be a then let's say six bucks. So let's say let's say it's sixty-five cents, and well, it's close. You know, that's. It's close. I think you're going to get it, though, if that's what you're looking for. And, yeah, you, you know, what's, what's, for. what's also happening here is that, you know, you, you have the metals that are ready to go. Now, see, on a, on a weekly, it's not set up the same way, Rich. On the weekly, see the contraction on the weekly? Yes. You know, but that being said, you know, like on a pullback, you'd only get a pullback to like 568 or something, you know? You know, because it's a good-looking chart. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's, 
that's a good looking chart. It's been building costs for a long period of time. It stayed at that bottom for a long period of time. It already had one big run. You know, we had that run there from $3.40 up to, let me just see what this pullback or retracement was. Yeah, see, this could be a larger ABC up. It might, I, I suspect it's going to stall kind of up where we are because that's what most of them are doing right now. Now, when you look at most of the gold or silvers, though, they don't have what you just had out here yesterday inside. Well, actually, let me go look at a couple of the silvers. So look at Pan American Silver. No, it didn't have it. You go to EXK. Yeah, that had, that had a pretty good one. Endeavor Silver had a good one yesterday. I got both of them. Oh, good. Yeah, EXK is a good setup, man. That's a good setup. Okay. If we take a look at EXK, the way this is set up right now, this is a good setup, man. And let's see, 367 went to 373 today. Yeah, see, this is good. What you just did today, right, on EXK, see the... The, the high, the low of the high is 367, and then the volume was 2.1, right? Well, you did 2.2 today, you know, and you got into that. You hit it, and that's how you want to hit it. You know, you hit it with volume. So this could go sideways a few times, then bangs right into it again, maybe overtakes it, you know. And I'm sure you've had these Where before, you, you know, these trades. These can take off hit. like a rocket ship. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Okay. Where do you think EXK could hit? Uh, the way the chart's showing are you, are after you, yesterday. Are we talking on a short-term basis or just longer? Short-term. Short-term. Oh, it's going to the high. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what it looks like Yeehaw. to me. And you can see, I just put this on a weekly for you. See how it came down to its strength? You had big strength, you know, the week of, uh, what? Did, that's December 2020, I think. You know, you had 184 million, you come down there, you test that area with 47, and now you're coming off that area with 57. That's on a monthly basis. So it hasn't broken on a weekly, on a monthly basis, hasn't broken the downtrend yet. It's been going, you know, sideways for, you know, seven months, but I suspect that you'll, you'll, you'll get some action here, man. The, the metals themselves are set up pretty good in order to, to get to higher price. I think what we're still so, going to need for that to happen is, you know, my, my take is that this dollar wants to go higher first, then lower, and then that's when we're going to see it happen. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, you, you get the dollar up today. This, this correlation has been bouncing back and forth because today you can see the dollar is up 252 ticks, but yet, you know, the S&Ps are up 57. So, you know, the dollar has just kind of been laying down there at those lows. So what I'm hearing is maybe I should hang on to this a little longer. Yes. Both of them. Yeah, I would. I would because the amount of pullback on them, Rich, right? I don't think there's going to be a lot on those two. I don't see it, you know. I don't know. Cooking, man. Well, I think I'm going to hang on because EXK, gosh, there's a lot of bid-ask action. And what also happens, that that. you've owned EXK before, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, so you know what happens, folks, is that some of these, and I've owned EXK a lot, too. Now, they can go both ways. They can get down just as quick. But, man, when EXK goes up or down, when it goes up, I mean, it's insane. If I, look, at, I just bring this back six months ago. In four days, it went from 272 to 364 to 366, you know, so... You know, when, when you're talking percentage-wise, okay. uh, percentages are small numbers, folks, are easy. There's no doubt about that. But the EXK is a volatile, it's an equity that goes f up very fast and down very fast. And you're on the right side of it right now. This thing wants higher. Cooking, brother. Okay. Have a, have a great one, man. Much, have a safe one. Bye. Dow, Dow Industrials right now are trading up by 307. That's except 219. S&Ps are up 56. You can see when we started this program, it got over that, uh, the thing that's interesting though, is, it, is that we, we got over that high and it's just hanging there, you know? But now when I bring up the, you can see when you bring up the futures on the daily, that's a good looking chart.
When you bring it up intraday, it's like, okay, we spiked it, we're staying there, and now you get the slow crawl, but the slow crawl works, man, because the bottom line is that we've gone up nine points since I've come on the air. Stay right there, folks, we're gonna come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial's up 317, NASDAQ's up 216, S&P's up 57. So you're going to close it to highs out here today, folks. If we look at the overall volume inside the NYSE, uh, ooh, look at that. It'll still come in with 8 or 9, 8, 850 maybe, maybe. We did 837 yesterday, which is a contraction from the day before. The day before was 957, 837 yesterday. It's going to be probably around 837, 850, somewhere around there inside the NYSE. We take a look at the composite. The composite right now is at 3.9, so the composite's going to come in with more volume. And we take a look at that composite, the way this is set up right now, yeah, this, this wants to spike the highs that was generated out here last week. That high that was generated when we gave it up, that was 12,013. Uh, and then if we go back into the queues, maybe the queues are going to get this at the close, that 313 number. No, it's not. Okay, but so, so it's good. Tomorrow, okay, so tomorrow is going to be pretty cool because it's going to go after the 313.68. Right now, you're at 312.68. You get a contraction of volume. You're going into uh, 80... 83 million shares. You only have 46 million shares going into it. I suspect we're going to go after it. You know, the last week when we went after it, 
you got up to the price point of 315, then you closed at 305, 306 rather. You know, that was like a big failure, no doubt. And then what ended up happening yesterday is that you came down, there was no sellers on the way down. That's, that's the way markets work, folks, looking back and forth. What happens back and forth? And that is being here now. That's how that baby works. And in that particular case, you can see that kind of in spades, meaning that, hey, guess what? You pull back yesterday, there's no volume. Okay, it doesn't take much. It, it takes always less volume to go up anyway. I mean, that's just, market is biased to the top side. No two ways about that. And as I said earlier, you got window dressing that's coming at you. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.